Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good day to all of you. We're going to learn about translation today. Translation process is a process to synthesize protein. There are three stages in translation. Uh, the stages are initiation, elimination, and termination. We're going to start with the first stage, which is initiation. In initiation, the stage begins when the small ribosome subunit and initiator tRNA together bind on the mRNA. The small ribosome and initiator tRNA bind to the mRNA. Kenapa kita panggil tRNA ini sebagai initiator, initiator tRNA? Kerana ini adalah tRNA permulaan. tRNA yang memulakan proses translation. Because as you look here, the tRNA bring or uh, hold or bind the methionine amino acid. tRNA ini memegang methionine amino acid, MET. And as we know, MET is the amino acid that code by the start codon AUG. Thus, this tRNA that bring the methionine amino acid call as initiator tRNA. Next, the large ribosome, the large ribosome subunit will attach to the mRNA and to the, to the small ribosomal subunit to form translation initiation complex. The large ribosome will bind to the mRNA and to the small ribosomal subunit and form the translation initiation complex. When the large ribosome bind to the mRNA and the small ribosomal subunit, the P side of the large ribosome will occupy or filled by the initiator tRNA while the A side is free which is available for the next amino acyl tRNA or available for the next just tRNA. Okay, apabila large ribosome ini bind dengan mRNA dan small ribosomal subunit, bahagian P side yang ada pada large ribosome ini akan menduduki ataupun dipenuhi oleh initiator tRNA. Manakala, A side nya pula akan free, kosong dan bersedia available untuk menerima another ataupun new amino acyl tRNA untuk menerima tRNA amino acyl yang baru. So tRNA amino acyl yang baru itu akan duduk ataupun berada ataupun memenuhi A side of the large ribosome subunit. So for the initiation summary, at first step, there is small ribosomal subunit and the initiator tRNA, both will bind to the mRNA. Second step, the large ribosome will bind to the mRNA and the small ribosomal subunit, forming translation initiation complex. So, dekat translation initiation complex ni ada component large ribosomal subunit, ada component small ribosomal subunit dan juga ada mRNA, juga ada initiator tRNA. So, kesemua structure ini membentuk translation initiation complex. Dan third step ni adalah, as the large ribosome bind to the mRNA and the small ribosomal subunit, the P side of the large ribosome itu akan diduduki ataupun dipenuhi oleh initiator tRNA manakala A side yang pula free untuk menerima new MSL tRNA. So that's about initiation stage of translation. The 
the second stage in translation is elongation. In elongation, there are three steps. First step is codon recognition. Second step is peptide bond formation. And the third step is translocation. So that we check the first step in elongation, we do codon recognition. What happened in codon recognition is the amino acid tRNA, this is amino acid tRNA that carry new amino acid will bind to the codon on mRNA in the A site by complementary base pairing, which is the anti-codon on A complementary bases with the codon on mRNA. So, dalam codon recognition ini adalah like pengenalan codon. Apa yang berlaku adalah codon di A site mRNA ini, codon mRNA pada SI ini akan bind dengan anti-codon pada tRNA secara complementary base pairing. Okay. Manakala um, dekat B site pula it will be occupied by the peptidyl tRNA. So the peptidyl tRNA carry the growing polypeptide so let's say we have the codon in mRNA is CAU, CAU plus the anticodon will be GUA because C complement with G, A complement with U, U complement with A plus the anticodon of this drug A will be GUA while the amino acid that we code by the codon of CAU when we refer to the genetic code table will become his HIS. Okay, so that's called as codon recognition. Pengenalan codon. Codon mRNA pada A site ini akan dikenal pasti oleh anti-codon tRNA yang mana anti-codon yang mana tRNA ini akan membawa amino acid yang bersesuaian amino acid yang uh, coded by the codon of mRNA. So this is a genetic code table for you to refer what type of amino acid being coded by the codon of mRNA at the A site. Okay. Now, the second step in elongation is peptide bond formation. Peptide bond formation. So what happened in this step is the growing polypeptide this is the growing polypeptide. Okay. is attached to the new amino acid on the tRNA at the A site. If you look on this diagram, you akan perhatikan ini adalah growing polypeptide yang melekat pada tRNA dekat B site. Ketika peptide bond formation, step peptide bond formation, growing polypeptide ini akan melekat ataupun diikat dengan new amino acid yang ada pada tRNA dekat A site. So, the result will become like this. Okay. So, antara growing polypeptide dengan new amino acid itu, bond yang terbentuk adalah peptide bond because it involves amino acid, thus the peptide bond will form. Okay, and this peptide bond formation involves the enzyme. The reaction of peptide bond formation involves enzyme and the enzyme name is peptidyl transferase. Peptidyl transferase. So in the translocation, the third step in elongation, uh, I repeat what happened is the ribosome this is ribosome, translocate tRNA in the A site to the B site. If you can imagine what happened before, this tRNA that hold the growing polypeptide chain actually is in the A site because it's already, uh, it 
is already doing the peptide bond formation. So the growing polypeptide with the TRNA is in the A site, while the B site become uh, occupied by only the TRNA. So dalam process translocation ini, ribosome akan translocate, like pindahkan TRNA daripada A site ini pergi ke B. Manakala TRNA yang ada dekat B ni pula akan translocate to the E side and will be exit or leave the ribosome. Because during this translocation, the mRNA move along with its bound TRNA. mRNA dengan TRNA ni bergerak dan akan menyebabkan next codon to be translated into the A site. You need to imagine guys like at first part this turn A with the growing polypeptide is in the A site while this turn A is in the B site. So bila mRNA dan tRNA ini bergerak okay bergerak ia akan menyebabkan TRNA yang asalnya tadi ada dekat A site telah berpindah ke B site ok jadi kodon yang berikutnya will be translated at the A site of the uh, large ribosome So the empty tRNA ni tadi asalnya dekat B akan bergeraklah daripada B site pergi ke E site and will be released. Then this process repeated until the polypeptide is completed. What process? A process in elongation yang ada tiga step tadi lah. Codon recognition, peptide confirmation and the elongation akan, eh, sorry, translocation akan terus berulang-ulang sehinggalah polypeptide yang ingin dibentuk itu menjadi lengkap dan sempurna. Untuk summarization of elongation, there are three steps in elongation. The step is codon recognition peptide bond formation and translocation. Okay, the third stage in translation is termination. So in this stage of termination, the ribosome at last reach the stop codon. The A site, okay, the A site of ribosome ini reach stop codon. The stop codon ada tiga kan? So, sama ada UAG, UAA ataupun UGA. So, sebaik saja A site of ribosome ini reach stop codon. So, stop codon ini menjadi signal untuk translation process berhenti. So, stop codon do not code for any amino acid. As the ribosome reach the stop codon, a protein called release factor will bind to the stop codon in the A site. As the release factor binds to the stop codon in the A site, water molecule will be added to the polypeptide chain instead of amino acid. Kebiasaannya kan kita akan tambah amino acid pada growing polypeptide chain ini. Tetapi kerana release factor bind dekat uh, stop codon dekat A site ini maka akan ada molekul air will added to the polypeptide chain. So apa jadi bila molekul air ditambah pada polypeptide chain ini? Molekul air itu akan menyebabkan hydrolysis process berlaku which is the bond between the polypeptide between polypeptide and the TRNA okay, 
at the B-side tadi akan being hydrolyzed. So hydrolysis process. Putuslah bond dekat polypeptide dengan tRNA ni tadi dekat B-side will be hydrolyzed. So then the polypeptide is free. Release from the ribosome. Same goes to the two ribosomal subunit. Component will dissociate. Dissociate maksudnya separated. As the summary for termination, first step, briefly, I, I describe briefly, uh, the A side of ribosome reach the stop codon and the stop codon do not code for any amino acid, thus release factor bind. When release factor bind to the stop codon in the A side, water molecule will be added to the polypeptide chain that will cause hydrolysis process. The water molecule hydrolyzes the bond between the tRNA and the growing polypeptide at the B side. And the result is the polypeptide chain will be released or free and the ribosomal subunit, the large and small ribosomal subunit will be dissociated. So that's about termination stage. So we complete is a complete explaining about uh, translation that have three stages initiation elongation and termination